Welcome back. We're talking Halifield School at 20. Last week we had a conversation around um, literacy, education, and how literate is Nigeria. And one of our guests talked about the need to start from the basic education, from those growing up, the younger generation. How are we handling them? Halifield School is a place where learning embraces all areas of life, that's what they say, academics, grooming, philanthropy, discipline, and confidence training. Uh, education in Halifield is total and seeks to imbibe in the children excellence, responsibility, and moral uprightness that will help them stand out in an aggressive and competitive world. Now, that Which is like getting good, more so. And getting more competitive <laughs> and aggressive. <laughs> well, but to help us look at and explain all of this grammar, uh, Halima Halima. Okay, is the director and founder of Hardyfield Schools. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. And beside her is Adibanjo Adibon Quality Control. Thank, Thank you. you. And Busola Awofua is the head of Hardyfield Schools. Thank you. That's like principal? Yes, head of school slash principal. Okay. Okay. Let me start with you, Halima. 20 years. What gave birth to Hardyfield? concept of um, an education that encompasses everything. When we say an education, we mostly are thinking of the academic form of education. But there's so much more that goes into education. We have to think of confidence building, which we believe so much in. You have a lot of educated people who cannot face the public, who are not confident in facing people. We build confidence. That is very, very important. Then skills acquisition. In a world that is so saturated with educated, academically educated people, you need that extra that, you make, that will make you balanced, that will make you be able to do anything. And the Nigeria we know today needs um, a lot of extras to make you fit in and be a job creator, not just a worker. So our skills acquisition program ensures that our children must be skilled in, um, must be hands-on in every area of life. So we have a lot of things we train the child on. And then our spiritual training is also very high. Our moral training is very key. So all of this, we believe, makes Halifield School what it is today. Mm -hmm. You haven't told us what led you to start up Halifax. Yeah, Halifield. that desire to inculcate in the Nigerian child different facets of knowledge, different areas of skills, made me get interested in education because I was used to, with my children's education, I was used to concentration on academics. So I wanted to do something different from that experience. So we started our school with emphasis on clubs. A child must belong to different clubs and learn different things. Hmm. Um, Adebanjo, quality control, would you say that vision has been maintained in this 20 years? Yes, I would say that vision has been maintained over the years. In Halifield, we believe in a can philosophy. That's actually our motto, I can. And that's actually the drive. That's what drives us, the students, the teachers, and the parents. And it's because we believe that no child is dull. You know, there's this um, idea that a child can be dull and not know anything. But in Halifield, we believe that every child can learn. So because of this belief, because we have that trust that a child can learn, we tell them that you can. There's some children that would tell you, I can't do it. Uh, it's too hard. This assignment is too difficult. But you continue to tell them that this is easy. You can do it. So that drive is what is the, is, that's the driving force. 
we make our teachers know this. We make our parents also know that. So over the years, this vision that she has explained to us has been flourishing because we believe that we can. Because of that, in academics, we believe that we make our teachers know that they have to train themselves. The school train the, the teachers. We go on international training, national trainings, and all that. They also make the teachers know that you can also train yourself. They do all the training. And our children as well, we have a lot of programs to build this confidence in these children. We are very big on research. The teachers and the students, sometimes they put up programs after they have researched on a particular topic. They, they call parents, they present these things to the children. So these are some of the programs we do to ensure that that confidence is instilled in the children. Um, um, Mrs. Alfonwa, a lot of parents tend to look more um, to the academic when they're choosing schools for their children. Um, what did they score in school certificate? Um, how many got grade one and stuff like that? Oh, that means that they are well taught. So that's the school that my child is going to. But you are saying that academics are not everything. Um, how are parents reacting to this attitude of Halifield? Thank you very much. A parent came to my office one day and she told me that she told a friend of hers, Oh, your child, take him to Halifield. He can learn more than academics. He can learn the extra in Halifield. That means the parent was impressed. She was satisfied. She was happy. And then, luckily, the son is in SS3 now. He sings beautifully well. And she came and said, I didn't know he could sing. You know, sometimes he sings in the house. I said, go and sing in the school. Go and sing in the college. The boy has confidence. He sings beautifully well now. He competed in music competition. He came tops. And he's baritone, beautiful voice. So college the parents' discovered. attitudes are changing. They are changing because the children have something extra. A latent ability that the college, the school, has helped them to bring out to the surface. Some parents don't know the abilities the children have. Some play beautiful music. Mm -hmm. Some play, sing beautifully well. Some swim beautifully well. Many things they do in school. I say, oh, I didn't even know you can do this. Oh, thank you, Halifield. And the children are happy. Something extra. Something beyond the classroom work. Something you can fall back on in later in life. Whatever they are and do, they do it very well. And we thank God for that. This is okay. 20 years, you're rolling out the drums and all that. What are, what, what's your plan? I mean, how are we going to celebrate we? Going to celebrate? <laughs> <laughs> yes, um, we have lined up some programs for the celebration because I believe 20 years is an achievement in the education sector. So on Tuesday next week, we are having a rally I beg your pardon, Mrs. Okay. Just, just hold that thought. We'll be right back.